Luke and Tom here with the Cats and Carp YouTube channel, and today we're catching massive grass carp. Welcome to another episode of Catfish and Carp, and today we're going on a bit of a road trip. I've got the car full of camping and carp fishing gear, and I've got the car full of boys. Got Nathan and Tommy there. Say hi to everyone, Nathan. Hi. And we're driving about three hours south to go meet up with some friends and go for massive grass carp. I want a 30 plus pound grass carp so bad. I have caught two grass carp that are 29 and a half pounds, but I've never caught a 30 pound grass carp. I want one bad. And this is a great place to do that. So hopefully we're gonna get some big fish tonight. All right guys, you ready to go? Mm -hmm. yeah. Let's do this. There we go, guys. Two hours down, one to go. Are you excited? Yeah, yeah. I've been awake the whole time. You've been totally awake the whole time. I just made out the house. Well, it's getting dark, Tommy. Here we are. I think we might have beat Brandon here. Three hours later, we're here. It's about 8.30 at night. Nathan's passed out of sleep. Tommy should be. And uh, so we're gonna just go ahead and set up the tent, get the boys tucked in their sleeping bags, get them uh, asleep and set up the gear. And we're gonna see what we can't do. Well, maybe we'll catch one tonight. I don't know. <laughs> we'll see. Tommy, you excited to go camping? Yeah. <laughs> All right. All right, let's set up the tent. Okay. Spread it out. Yeah, there you go. It might be starting to rain right now. Hey, there's one pillow. You made it. Yep, we got here. <laughs> Took us a while, about four hours. <laughs> well, Brandon here came from all the way from uh, North Carolina. Yep. We're gonna we're gonna catch some big grass oh, today. Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah, I hope so. I feel it. You feel, feel it? it? I feel in it. Yeah, <laughs> Hey, we got Nate one and Nate two. Nate, I'll try two Nates other... out on the bank this weekend. <laughs> oh, double your Nate, double your pleasure right there. Guys, it's been too long since I pulled out my 12 foot carp rods. I've got, I've got actual layers of dust on them. All right, we're getting base camp set up here. This is a serious operation. We got work, workers construction lights here with a little Honda generator back there. Brandon's mixing up pack bait. Well, we got oatmeal and yep. soy and a little bit of oats, a little bit of panko, a little bit of corn. Ah, a little bit of everything. Boys are loading up on root beer, so they'll be wired. Yeah, we're we're gonna do this. It's gonna be nice. Yeah, we might throw some boilies in here too. Rod Hutchinson scored me a bunch of these, so yeah, here, check that out. See if you like it, the looks of any of those. Then I got a crusher. Classic Rod Hutchinson, man. None of my gear is rigged up, so it's taken, uh, I think you guys are in the same boat, huh? Yeah, we are. Uh, so it's taken forever to get rigged up, but I got one rod going, so I'm gonna chuck it out there. Don't worry, guys, it's super dark right now, so I'm not gonna talk you through my gear too much. Come morning time, I'm gonna give you close-ups of all my rigs and let you know everything we're using and what we're doing. Unless we fail horribly, then this will be like a fun, goofy father-son video. Nate, where's your pants? He got no pants. Get in there. Those mosquitoes are gonna eat those little ham hocks. Yeah, it's a little, little dry, but that's that's how the soy rolls. I have got the weirdest Japanese British fusion rig here. I can't wait to show it to you guys in the morning. It's there's some really weird crap inside this ball. Channel cats love boilies. That's why it's catfish and carp, man. Exactly. And you know, if you can't catch one, at least you can claim you caught the other. I know for sure. It's no uh -oh. skunk. There he is. That's the skunk off. First fish on the bank. There you go, little man. Yeah, yeah it's jerking like a catfish, but sometimes the grass part fool me like that. Let me just shine that in your eyes some more. It's <laughs> all good. <laughs> catfish. Oh, kitty, kitty, kitty. That was on the corn this time. Both my rigs. Corn. What is that, a pink plastic corn? Yep, pink pop-up corn. 
pink pop of corn. Look at that. Of course, if you're going to eat corn, make it pink. There he is. Another little channel. Oh, go, go to bed in there. Well, I got to tell you guys, the fishing's been slow, but I really like this spotlight. This thing is super powerful. There were some people making some funny animal noises over there in the backseat of their car. And it lit the thing up like nobody's business from all the way across the parking lot. They're gone now, though. They didn't, they didn't appreciate that, though. They packed it up and left. Well, it's close to 2 o'clock here, and uh, not much has been going on. But I got my alarms on, so if some carp comes ripping along, it can wake me up. Method feeder basket, some jumbo corn. All right, guys, I'm going to bed. It's like three in the morning. Well, Nate's got himself a catfish. It's looking serious. I can't, you, I can't really lift him out of the water. I got a net right here if you need. Oh, that means I gotta get out of the tent. Oh, I suppose I should go film it. No wonder I could lift him up. <sighs> I know I'm pulling around nothing. To yeah, look at that. Would you look at that? Not a bad catfish. That's actually a decent fish, man. It is. Got a big old head on him. Was that on a piece of corn or a pop up? That's on a boilie. A boilie. Yeah, catfish love them boilies. Get on out of here. A little brush off. See you later. Coming back to say hi. hi. <laughs> Look at that. He likes us. <laughs> That's the wrong way, man. <laughs> Back to sleep. Go to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, guys. Well, it was a very short night. I think we went to bed somewhere around uh, 2 or 3 or something and woke up around 6.30. So... Yeah, I'm good. But no sign of any carp yet, so we'll see. I'm gonna freshen up my bait, check it back out there, and uh, we'll see what happens. You guys ready for breakfast? Yeah. There we go. There he goes. Now he decides he doesn't like it. He saw the net. <laughs> I've seen that so many times with grass carp. They see the net and they start freaking out. I wonder if it's because so many of them grew up in hatcheries and they've, you know, yeah. they got netted. Oh, get in there. A part of, yeah, right there is where he lost the part. Just caught the first grass carp. He's an absolute hoss. But. He's not going to be the only one. Make sure he gets back revived. Now I know some guys out there are going to be wondering why you release them. You know, they're invasive, blah, blah, blah. Okay, it's illegal to kill grass carp in this lake. And it's illegal to kill grass carp in a lot of places. These are deliberately introduced, deliberately stocked by the Department of Fish and Game to control weeds. And it costs a lot of money to do that. So if you go off killing all their fish, they have to pay more money to restock them. So a lot of places, it's illegal to kill grass carp. Yeah, that looks like you hit it with the car, man. Yeah, it, looks it, looks like it looks pretty dead. So in the light of day, we discovered that Brandon and Nate are in fact bat killers. So, uh, poor little guy. Everyone a moment of silent for Squeaky. All right. These guys are serious. Look at this. They got the drone. Look at their fancy camera tripod and everything. Yeah, it's like a video game. Look at that. <laughs> Check out this the rig I'm using. A real hodgepodge here. I've got this little basket with a spring-loaded trap door, and I put some panko soaked in pineapple scent inside the basket, and then I coat the basket in pack bait, and I've got these two huge, massive kernels of maize 
They've been soaked in pineapple mango flavor. And I'm just winging that out there. It's been getting some bites, got a catfish on it, making this out of whatever's in my tackle box. But we'll see if it works. So Nathan here with catsandcarp.com is going to show you the proper way to uh, chum a swim. Here he's got a net handle with a spoon on the end and some bait. All right. There you go. I need someone to pick video. You beat my PB. I'm gonna have very mixed emotions. So far are you? Yeah, go get mess up, go mess up Nathan's stuff. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah, go jack up his rig real good. Okay, you got him? Oh. It's a big fish. Oh. Woo! Oh. Keep your rod tip up, buddy. Keep your rod tip up. There we go. Oh, your yeah, yeah. oh gosh, that's oh yeah, that's a thick one. That's yeah, that's over 30. Yeah, for sure. On the corn. Okay, Nate, can I put you in charge of stills? Tommy, you ready to hold your carp? Yeah. Oh. Mm -hmm. Stand up, buddy, because you're. There you go. Yeah. Let's keep doing. Keep 36 and a half pounds, buddy. That's a big carp. Yeah, it is. <laughs> you enjoy catching them? Yeah. All right. Oh, <laughs> I see. Oh. Oh. Oh, he almost so let's get him back in. Should we yeah, get him back? Yeah, you almost knocked this over. That's over? Yeah. Okay. All right, guys. Woo! Uh, no. <laughs> All right, Tom. You getting ready to let him go? Yeah. That's your biggest carp ever, buddy. And that's my biggest carp ever, too. 36 and a half pounds, bud. Okay, yeah. keep him upright. Yeah. Then... There you go. There he goes. There he goes. He's gone. Big high five. You Ooh. played that like a man there. That was oh, awesome. Look. <laughs> yeah, that's a fish worth getting your boots wet for. Yep. 36 and a half pounds, guys. That's a monster fish. Whoo! Tommy did a good job on that one. <laughs> oh, jeez. All right, guys. So uh, let me show you my rigs and my gear here, okay? This is the rig I used to catch that 36 and a half pounder. We got one of these uh, method leads by Fox, it's slightly weighted, which is, is nice, helps with your hook set if there's a little weight on that. And then I've got a helicopter or sleeve that covers up the swivel and the quick uh, release link, which uh, helps keep it from coming undone. And I've got 40 pound mainline uh, spider wire braid. Then I've got some, I believe 38 pound braid uh, on the leader and I've got a number six quarter wide gap hook and a blowback hair rig, a little piece of fake corn. This is our pack bait. It's a little bit of oats, a little bit of uh, soybean. I think there's a little ponco in here too, mixed in with some sweet corn. You take this ball of bait and you mush it around the lead. The little fins are designed to grip the, the bait better. And you chuck it out there and that's what we're using. I love this combo. It's a really high-end, long-distance combo. It's a 12-foot, high-ass 200. Really an excellent rod. You can hit 200 yards with this if you really know what you're doing. And I got a Shimano, and I've got, uh, like the, I think it's called a C-plus 1400. And uh, just a really great combo. Guys, leave Mr. Brandon's rod pod alone. Come on, guys, over here. Let's play, let's play with something fun. Here. Yeah, go chase that goose. Well, I've got to go use the bathroom, and you know what that means. It means I'm going to get a fish on. So, all right, something hits. Make sure you guys film it. I know he peeled it. There you go. Maybe, but. There we go. And the, and the bait's <laughs> still on that. There we go. Another beautiful grass carp. This one's probably mid to upper teens. Not too shabby. The main way you tell the difference between grass carp and common carp, grass carp have this long, lean body. They have no barbels and they have a big, wide mouth instead of like a suction cup mouth with little barbels on the corners. Look at that. Grass carp aren't really related to common carp. Uh, really, really, really distant relatives. And they come from different parts of the world but you can catch them using the same techniques and the same baits. After casting and fighting that fish and everything, oatmeal's still on the method lead. 
If you want a bait ball that's really tough, use instant oatmeal. It's much tougher than panko or, or uh, soy meal. Here's another nice 30 pounder, and you'll notice we're holding him over this carp cradle here. These carp cradles are really convenient when you're unhooking the fish. Just kind of keeps them in one place, doesn't thrash around and get all dirty. But if you don't have one of these, a little mat works just fine, you know. But just uh, with these big fish, you got to be careful because they're just a lot more mass. They can hurt themselves a lot easier. You want to help? So guys, I may seem all nice and friendly on video, but but in reality, I knock people's fish off the line with the net. That's the kind of guy I am. So don't don't believe the facade you see online. Guys, thanks yeah. so much. Absolutely. Put me on some huge, huge oh, grass carp. Yeah, that, that was fun, man. Uh, Nate and Brandon have uh, their own YouTube channel, Team Wildwater. I'm gonna put a link in the description and check out their video because they're doing a giveaway. Yep, we're doing a giveaway. We're gonna give away some flavors, some couple different uh, Carp Pro flavors, some Power Smokes, Power Dips, just their uh, Legend series, their classic series. But we're gonna be giving that away. We're gonna give away one of these hats as well. So come check us out. Click subscribe, share the video, leave a comment, and we'll pick the winner in a couple weeks. And if you guys enjoyed this video and you wanna see more great videos from the Catfish and Carp YouTube channel, don't forget to- Click subscribe! Mailed it. Mailed it.